that and kind of use that to your advantage. Because in the same respect too, like just because I do it one way doesn't mean it can't be done another way. If you look at this problem, you say, hmm, why don't you try to do this? Then go for it, right? You could be right, you could be wrong. Like, don't get it anything better, then erase it and try again. I'll tell you the first thing that I do is whenever I see an operation, I always want, to, I usually like to apply that operation. That usually helps me simplify something down, right? Because if I have this minus subtract, subtract sign, it'd probably be a good idea to distribute that negative and then work on each one individually from there. Oops, that's minus. Yes, no, maybe so. OK. All right. Um, now, the other thing that I notice is I have a lot of terms squared. Sine squared, cosine or secant squared, cosecant squared, right? Huh? Well, you can't. You can't distribute square root across addition or subtraction. So that won't help. No, I, you can, but I mean, I just you can just leave it off. Yes, sir. Well, you wouldn't want to use the even and odd because none of these are like negative. Then none of the none of the angles are very negative. Huh? Yeah. So they're not. None of them are like terms. Yes. None of them are like terms, and um, none of them are like terms. And there's nothing we can combine. Yes. Well, that'd probably be a good idea. If I change that to secant squared of x, then I would have two secants, and that's better than having a secant and a tangent. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Looking at the Pythagorean identities, don't you guys agree with me? Now, technically, you'd have to subtract the 1. So isn't secant, secant squared of theta minus 1 equals tangent squared, right? And you guys see how I said that? You guys see how I did that like in my head mentally, yeah. looking at that formula? Okay. You guys can write it out if you need to. But now, if I'm going to do that with tangent, why don't I just do that with cotangent? Because to cotangent will give me the cosecant, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or why don't I switch? Yeah, that's what I did. I was doing tangent. Yeah, so why don't we do that for the cotangent and the tangent? So therefore, I have secant squared of x plus cosecant squared of x minus, now again, make sure you guys are using parentheses. Otherwise, um, you're, going to get, you're going to get mixed up. So I'm replacing tangent with secant of squared of theta minus 1. And I'm going to replace cotangent with cosecant squared of theta minus 1. It is. I just haven't distributed yet. You could, but again, you got to think, you got to like kind of think ahead on here. We want this to equal 2. So if I switch these back to tangent and cotangent, well, I don't have like terms. I can't do anything with that. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. If you switch from the cotangent and tangent, like. Then I don't have like terms, though. I want to. No, 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 no. I'm talking about before you. Oh, yeah. You could have done these and kept, and you could have done these instead of those. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I'm saying. You might do it one way, and you might do it another way, and they're both correct. So now what you do is you distribute the negative. Yep. That's what I would do. <laughs> And now, let's look what happens. Hey, positive, negative. They don't cancel out, but they add to 0. Positive, negative. They don't cancel out, but they add to 0. 1 plus 1 is? Hold on, Toledo. Verified. See? Yay. We did it. It's not that bad. 